Half Torah portion 19, Teruma. This is going to be Isaiah 66, 1 through 24. Says Adonai, Heaven is my throne, says Adonai, and the earth is my footstool. What kind of house could you build for me? What sort of place could you devise for my rest? Didn't I make all these things? This is how they all came to be? Says Adonai, The kind of person on whom I look with favor is one who is with a poor and humble spirit, who trembles at my word. Those others might as well kill a person as an ox, as well as break a dog's neck as sacrifice a lamb, as well as offer pig's blood as offer a grain offering, as well as bless an idol as burn incense. Just as these have chosen their ways and enjoy their disgusting practices, so I will enjoy making fools of them, and bring on them the very things they fear. For when I called, no one answered. When I spoke, they did not hear. Instead they did what was evil in my sight, and chose what did not please me. Hear the word of Adonai, you who tremble at his word. Your brothers who hate you and reject you because of my name have said, Let Adonai be glorified, so we can see your joy, but they will be put to shame. That uproar in the city, that sound from the temple, is the sound of Adonai repaying his foes what they deserve. Before going into labor she gave birth, before her pains came she delivered a male child, who ever heard of such a thing? Who has ever seen such things? Is a country born on a day? Is a nation brought forth all at once? For as soon as Zion went into labor, she brought forth her children. Would I let the baby break through and not be born, says Adonai? Would I, who caused the birth, shut the womb, ask your God? Rejoice with Jerusalem. Be glad with her, all you who love her. Rejoice, rejoice with her, all you who mourned for her so that you nurse and are satisfied by her comforting breast, drinking deeply and delighting in the overflow of her glory. For Adonai says, I will spread shalom over her like a river, and wealth of nations like a flooding stream. You will nurse and be carried on her arm and cuddled in her lap, like someone comforted by his mother. I will comfort you in Jerusalem. You will be comforted. Your heart will rejoice at the sight. Your bodies will flourish like newly spreaded grass. It will be known that the hand of Adonai is with his servants, but with his enemies, his fury. For, look, Adonai will come in fire, and his chariots will be like the whirlwind, to render his anger furiously, his rebuke with blazing fire. For Adonai will judge all humanity with fire and with sword, and those slain by Adonai will be many. Those who consecrate and purify themselves in order to enter the gardens, then follow the one who is already there, eating pig meat, reptiles, and mice. All will be destroyed together, says Adonai. For I know their deeds and their thoughts. The time is coming when I will gather together all nations and languages. They will come and see my glory, and I will give them a sign. I will send them some of their survivors to the nation of Tarshish, Pul, Lud. These are archers, Tuval, Greece, and more distant coasts, where they have neither heard of my fame nor seen my glory. They will proclaim my glory in these nations, and they will bring all your kingsmen out of the nations as an offering to Adonai, on horses, in chariots, in wagons, on mules, on camels, to my holy mountain, Jerusalem, says Adonai, just as the people of Israel themselves bring their offering in clean vessels to the house of Adonai. I will also take Kohen and Livrim from them, says Adonai. For just as the new heavens and the new earth that I am making will continue in my presence, says Adonai, so will your descendants and your name continue. Every month on Rosh Hodesh and every week on Shabbat, everyone living will come to worship in my presence, says Adonai. As they leave, they will look on the corpses of the people who rebelled against me, for their worm will never die, and their fire will never be quenched, and they will be abhorrent to all humanity.